terrifying attack in a local department store. A woman robbed and sexually assaulted in the bathroom, and the guy who did it is still out there. I'm Jason Martinez. I'm Shana Humphreys. The woman was shopping with her husband at the time at the Macy's in Center City. And Dave, police say the attacker was just waiting for her, for someone to walk into that bathroom. Shana, investigators say the suspect was hiding out in a stall for over 20 minutes until the victim walked in. That's when he confronted her, threatened to kill her, and then sexually assaulted her. It's scary. Police say this is the masked man who was lying in wait inside the ladies' room at Macy's in Center City around 11 a.m. Sunday morning when a woman customer walked in. While she's in the stall, he came over the top of the stall. And that's when he threatened her and then he drug her out of that stall into a stall a little further down. And that's where he assaulted her. That's very scary to hear that a woman could be attacked like that. Investigators say the suspect threatened to kill the woman with a sharp barbecue skewer if she made any noise, then sexually assaulted the 55-year-old victim and robbed her. It's pretty brazen to, for a family to go inside the bathroom for 20 minutes and wait there without thinking somebody else is going to come in and find them. She's not expecting a man to attack her like that. That's horrible. The suspect was caught on video as he left the store quickly and crossed Market Street. Police say he got on a train to 52nd and Market and disappeared. The victim staggered out of the ladies' room, met her husband, who was also in the store. They got security to call police. Customers at Macy's were shocked by the totally random attack. That was very scary because I've shopped there and I'm pretty sure I've used that bathroom myself, so that's scary. If she gets threatened, all women can get threatened. It makes all of us feel threatened, too. Special victims detectives say they have no other sexual assaults like this in the downtown area. They're searching for more surveillance video, hoping to get a better look at the suspect. It seems like people just don't care anymore. They don't even respect the law. They don't care. They just do what they want to do. Now, investigators say they did recover some valuable evidence inside the bathroom. A spokesperson for Macy says customer safety is a top priority, that they're working closely with Philadelphia investigators on this case, but they refused to comment further. If you have any information from that surveillance video, if you recognize the guy, call the Special Victims Unit. Shana.